Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And that's a shovel and that's a 10 by 20 inch stretched canvas. And I want to do a swipe with some gold paint right down the middle. It's not coming out. It's Decor at Americana, 24 karat gold. Please come out faster than that. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm going to have to clear that tip. Oh, because I want to put a zigzag down the middle. And I need a bunch of paint to do that. All right, so. I am going to use a Princeton Artful Catalyst spatula and not leave any paint in my shovel. But I'm going to try and put my lumps of additional paint at equidistant areas. I am going to just use my black enamel that is a gloss. On either side of this before continuing on. And I think I'm going to use some white metallic from Anita's. This is supposed to be a fairly simple color scheme. Whoa, that's huge. Come here, huge thing. Must have been one of the threads released. Okay, so I think that I'm going to fill in, not sure that was a good idea, but I can still put some of the hot orchid that I have planned next in between. And I may do that. Or should it be blue? I'm pretty sure I want to use some blue. So this is coming out nicely. So let me grab that blue, Venetian blue. I do like making these designs on the way to the swipe. And it's been more than one time I thought I might be, it might be nice to keep one. So what I'm thinking is, I'm going to put those in at an angle, and if I want another color, it might be turquoise. I wish I'd just filled that right up. It's almost time to make some more paint. This is the Hot Orchid from Color Art, if I didn't say. But if I did, it's something well worth having. I'm totally enamored of this color. I'm wondering if I should put some black on the edges. Come on out. I'm going to do it again. It is a pretty pattern, just love it the way it is. But because I already have, that's the Peacock from Decor at Americana, I believe. I'm seeing out of my peripheral some Decor de Americana 24, 24 karat gold with some orange in it. I wish I quit putting the cap back on that. And, and what? <laughs> and it's almost time to some more paint go down. I'm going to leave that in the shovel because I might want it. And I'm going to do I'm just having too much fun. <laughs> Sorry. Can't can't trust me to get on with this get on with the show. question is, do I want to put some black or do I want to put some orange or what do I want to put there? Do I want to bring that over the edge? That's pretty slick just the way it is. Oh well, 
How about a little purple? How about no purple at all? How about a little dioxazine purple with iridescent pearl fine in? Because I can, the name of my first book, it's on the Amazon link under the link tree, next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. I'm having too much fun. I could just walk away from this and be pretty happy. Ah, oh well, I'm like that. I'm going to put a little bit of my extra paint right here where it belongs. See if there's any more spots that are lacking. And get on with it. I've got some Floetrol in a dish. And a card. Or I had a card. I'm going to use a small card, I think. One of those two. I think this one. I still want some black along the edge. Oh well, you know what? I'm going to start and see how it goes from there. There's my flow trail. I'm going to start off center, off the middle. I'm going to use my residual on either side to cover that spot. I'm going to wipe off my excess and my little scrape dish. Cover my card with some Floetrol again. And I just keep doing the same thing. At equidistant places so far. We never know when that might change. I am getting some tremendous cells and I'm loving my color combinations and the cells are surrounding different colors. I'm really liking it. I'm just going to keep using that and shoveling, shoving it all the way down and wiping it off and dipping it in. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I just did over there to see what I'm looking at and how similar it is. I'm really liking all of that. I don't know what I'm going to do about changing the patterns up. I mean, it's really supposed to be a swipe, but there's nothing exact about the way I laid anything down. I think the thing I like the most is being able to see colors over here so I'm just going to keep playing and I'm going to use my spatula because I can. And then if I don't think that it's working for some reason I will swipe but in the meantime I'm liking it. Now, I could just go on, and I sort of want to use my spatula. Yeah, that's not hurting my feelings either. I do want to go back and use some of the pink that I just extricated. I like leaving behind the colors and I like using the colors that I have left over. But you've got to follow the same pattern if you want it to be the same and I don't know if it's going to be the same. I do know I'm going to want to cover that edge and I have residuals in my dish and I can do that. And those don't need to be the same either and I should leave them alone and not mess with them because they look pretty much okay right now. So back into the dish. And use the residuals. It's a system that's working well. 
Now I'm going to take my residuals from that process and my leftovers in my little dish and quick like a bunny attempt to cover at least this one end, if not more. Paint will flow to paint, so if you get a little bead started going over the edge, it will most likely, almost always, drip down over. So, what do I have that I, that I like? And uh, there's plenty to like. I think I'm going to do a little more flow troll right there, because it's the only one that doesn't... No, there's another one. <laughs> I guess I'm just going to keep doing that, picking up some of the black and bringing it down into the gold. And because I know that it's the enamel, I know it'll probably sell. So what's left to do is me thinking about my basting brush. And even though it doesn't need it, and I'm not really worried about covering that canvas behind, Hmm, I'm going to do it. I don't think it hurt anything actually, happily. And I will be putting a final coat of some extremely thin down Liquitex varnish just to seal up the canvas that was primed to begin with. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I'm going to grab my spatula and put a little bit of paint on that edge. I'm going to use all of this paint in my shovel to cover my edges. I like that. I kind of wish there was a little bit more of that right there and there and there <laughs> and there. And I think that'll be That'll be good enough. So I love you guys. There's 91,000 of you, and I could probably keep right on working, putting some paint on my edges while I tell you guys that there's over 1,700 videos going on 1,800, and they're all organized by the 100 and by topic and genre. If you guys ever have a question about a playlist and you can't find what you're looking for, ask me. I have them all saved and bookmarked, and I'd be happy to help you out. Same with questions. If you have questions, ask me, and if I can answer them, I will. I'm happy to do that. If you're a shop, if you're a shopper and you love my designs, then you should check out Teespring Clothing under the video, because they have all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And if you can't find what you're looking for, you can always ask me, and I can try and add it. So this is almost done, and I'm a little. The only thing I'm a little worried about is this right here. And I think what I'm going to do snag a little bit of this paint because the flow troll is a leveler and as long as the paint isn't too too close to being set up adding a little paint will usually be okay and it will level back in and if it isn't at least it'll have covered the canvas also there are a few things that you can do among them tapping with the end of a bamboo skewer to spread the paint, which doesn't hurt me. And looks pretty good. I've got a little bit more touch up to do. Probably don't need it. Probably going OCD. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for the wonderful comments and compliments that you give me that keep my morale boosted. One more. 
set of strokes down means I get to put some of that hot orchid right up into the other stripes. Hopefully I'm not going to ruin this by doing so, but I kind of like it <laughs> changed up like this. Might as well, in for penny, in for pound. The basting brush finish. And I will fix everything else at some future point. It's not, um, it's not symmetrical completely, but it feels very organic. I didn't torch and I should. I should also tell you, check my community board for tomorrow's video. Should you be interested? Check my Facebook groups on the link tree. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors is for people checking for the artworks I've edited in the albums. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery uh, appreciation is for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery totes and more is for shoppers. If you're interested in winning a painting, I have a monthly drawing for those of you who contribute to help keep the studio rolling. And the place to find a donation button is on my YouTube channel banner in the bottom right hand corner. You can find PayPal and Patreon. I prefer PayPal. And it will get you an automatic entry into the monthly drawing. And you can see what the drawing prizes are for any given month in the exhibition video on the end screens of any video. And I like this. And I love you guys. And I'm sure there's stuff I haven't told you yet. But um, I do sell my artwork and my email address is below the Linktree link. And I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. It's not very bright in here today. It's kind of overcast. I like the effect of this. And I hope you do too. We've got some great cells in there. I gotta change my camera mount again so I can swivel my camera around better. But for right now, this is gonna have to do. I think I've told you everything I can except for Pixels. Uh, Pixels.com and Fire Nerd America are also on the link tree. And if you wanna see what paintings I've done in, the, in a day within 24 hours or so, check out my Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Uh, Pinterest is where I post the next video coming. Instagram is where I post fresh artwork. And I will talk to you anon, but I want to thank you one last time for all of the wonderful comments that you leave me to keep my morale boosted and all of the donations that help keep me painting. So thank you very much. I hope you have a very happy new year. And uh, I hope we all have a very happy new year. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.